Richard Southern is back with us to chat about a few fun Friday stories. And we begin with what could be the most terrifying robot yet. Oh, it's the rise of the machines, Melissa. They're getting pretty good, these robots, you know. Oh, definitely. We're seeing them tell everywhere. The and here, oh, this look guy at that is called Amica. Look at this, Melissa. This is a British tech company unveiling this very lifelike robot, again, called Amica. It can smile. It can blink. It can gasp. It can scratch its nose. And according to the company, it can strike an instant rapport with anyone due to its personality, its lifelike nature. The company selling it modular. You can have just the head or just the arm if you so need. Uh, Amica is intended to as a cloud-connected platform to test artificial intelligence. And I've just gotten word, uh, I'm sorry to do this on the air, from our news director, uh, Melissa. Amika has been hired to host City News at 11 <laughs> tonight. I'm sorry to do this. I knew this day would air. come eventually. The robots are taking uh, he, over, and, and here we go. They, I'm done. He works a lot cheaper than we do, apparently. Apparently. Amika. Apparently. Oh, Amika, just time. coming after my life. Now, <laughs> how far will an anti-vaxxer go to avoid getting the COVID-19 shot? Well, this next story pretty much answers that question. This is pretty dumb. I saw this today. <laughs> it was so crazy and so dumb. Uh, this is a true story out of uh, Italy. A guy wore this, a fake arm prosthesis in order to, he tried to get the, the jab. He wanted the vax pass in Italy, but he didn't actually want the, the, the jab. He was anti-vax, so he wore this thing. Of course, the nurse, she didn't fall for it. She knew right away something wasn't right. <laughs> And, you know, it would be funny, right, if it wasn't for a very serious matter. We know vaccines work, and in some parts of the world, people have no access to them at all, yet here's this guy trying to avoid it. Can you believe you'd spend hundreds of dollars oh, on a yeah. silicone thing like that, Melissa? That is doing the most. It's doing the absolute most just to avoid <laughs> getting the vaccine. I can't even believe someone would go that far. <laughs> Unreal. Pretty dumb. Pretty. Uh, Unreal. Now, we've all had to swerve to avoid junk sitting on the highway, and apparently the same thing also happens in space. Yeah, more dangerous up there, perhaps. The International Space Station the other day had to make a big swerve. It had to make evasive action uh, to avoid a big a piece of space debris. The ISS had to fire its engines and swerve to avoid a pre piece of debris from a U.S. rocket that launched in 1994. Once that junk goes up there, it stays up there for a while. NASA also had to postpone a spacewalk because of a space debris warning. You know, calls to monitor and regulate space debris or space Space junk have grown in recent years. I guess humans, we make a mess no matter where we go, don't we, Melissa? Yeah, wow. Look at that, huh? Most definitely. Well, thank you so much, Richard. Have yourself a great weekend, and we will talk to you on Monday. Hopefully, if Thanks Amiga's not here, you. we'll see. <laughs> buzz, buzz, <laughs> click, click. See ya.